हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आईटी के फंडे योर ओन चैनल वेयर वी मेक आईटी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर एवरीवन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डेटा मैनेजमेंट नाउ व्हेन वी से डेटा मैनेजमेंट इट प्रिटी मच कवर्स एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ डेटा एंड ओवरऑल डेटा इंडस्ट्री इन विच वी वर्क बट इफ यू गो बाय द स्टैंडर्ड देर आर इलेवन क्लियर एंड प्रिसाइज एरियाज विच हैव बीन डिफाइंड एंड दीज इलेवन एरियाज actually make sure that the whole data within the industry within your company uh you know is working is managed properly is secure is reliable and is effective so when you are starting your journey in the field of data or if you are already working in the field of data in any role be it data engineer data scientist data analyst i am pretty sure that you would be working in one or many of these areas and of course if you want to start your career in the field of data it is very important for you to learn about these 11 areas because this would come to you from time to time uh, within uh, the specific role you are working in so we'll start our video by understanding all these different concepts uh, and specific features of every area in the field of data management i'm sure this is going to be an interesting video so without further ado Let's get started. Thank you, friends. If you're new to IT K Fund Day channel, we make IT interesting for everyone, be it IT or non-IT. We discuss all the latest tools and technologies, products, productivity hacks, and career tips on this channel. So, if you're new and if you like the content, do consider subscribing. Thank you. So, friends, this is data management and the eleven data management areas. Uh, I have depicted it this in this uh, pattern, but we'll go uh, through each and every area one by one and quickly understand what exactly that area does. and also some key roles in the it industry which belongs to that specific area although a lot of roles are there and one role can span across multiple areas but then uh, we will try to understand certain specific roles which fall into one specific area so st to start with at, at the center of any data management lies data governance now data governance in itself is not uh, something very technical as far as data management is concerned but it does what a government does for a country so it creates strategies policies and rules and a framework it defines a framework with which uh, data would be you know managed and controlled and maintained within an enterprise uh, company or industry so data governance sits uh, you know at the center and it connects with every other uh, aspect of uh, data management so in totality all the other 10 areas connects uh, in some way or the other with the data governance so data governance sit at the middle and one specific role which comes up when we talk about data uh, governance is its data steward so it's the responsibility of a data steward to five define the policies and the uh, rules and regulations with which uh, you know he can lead this whole data governance processes so this is our number one area right at the center now to start uh, in a clockwise direction uh, the very first thing which comes is data architecture so what is data architecture so in data architecture there would be some chief data architects in your company who would decide that how the data for that particular company will Uh, fit into a specific design or architecture so these are those people who define those kind of uh, you know data architecture and designs and that's why a data architect or uh, in some companies we have chief data architects who uh, and their responsibility is only to you know manage and define what kind of data architecture this particular company will follow and based on that architecture other disciplines follow that particular pattern and tries to define data in that particular uh, shape so data architecture is a very important field and uh, there is a very good product irwin data modeler which is very old tool but very commonly used till today and it is a licensed uh, licensed software wherein you know the, there would be a license given to all the uh, data architects and those data architects could then go into irwin data modeler and uh, manage and uh, you know do their activities as a data architect so a very good tool so uh, a related branch to data architecture is data modeling and design 
So within data modeling and design, the conceptual data model, the physical and the logical data model is defined. And based on that particular data model, all the data uh, extraction, acquisition, storing, everything happens around that particular data model. So suppose there is a new project which has come up, which has to develop something, uh, for, for example, a report. So they need to consult the data modeler and understand what kind of a data model can be fit into this particular use case and that data model should be in line with the data architecture strategy defined by the data architects. So you see everything is very interrelated in this area. Uh, coming to the fourth one which is data storage and operation which is very close to me what I do uh, very closely because uh, you know in data operations you are the owner of how the data uh, you know data is acquired maintained recovered and ensuring that your end-to-end -end data pipelines are running on time and uh, it is being maintained correctly. So data storage and operation is all about how you maintain and store your data uh, in an enterprise. And one very important role which fits into this particular area is data engineers because data engineers are the ones who are very much responsible for these kind of activities. So coming to our fifth area which is data security, the name is self explanatory it talks about all the compliances, audits and what kind of security mechanism uh, which needs to be placed, uh, all kind of data authorizations which needs to be done, everything related to that. Uh, belongs to data security. Now, there is no specific role which I have heard of which is very specific to data security. But what generally happens is that your data architect, your data manager, or for example, your data engineers, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, they lies with your respective security team. And then there is a data security framework, which is defined for the overall company. But yes, it varies from uh, case to case. So I'm just sharing my experience on this. Uh, so uh, sixth one is data integration again here uh, there is only one word which will explain it very simply is ETL. So data integration is all about creating those integration pipelines so that you know how the data will be acquired from the source and then how it will be loaded uh, in the destination. So this whole integration layer has been set up. Uh, so yes, that is pretty much what happens within data integration. Again, data engineer is a very prominent role and that's why you, uh, you see data engineering is becoming so important because data engineer is a person who covers a lot of these areas. Document and content management is again a very important area and it uh, relates to managing all the unstructured kind of data in your enterprise. Uh, your images, your uh, files, your unstructured data which is coming in, anything to do with your documents which are legacy documents, your PDFs, everything, all that is maintained <clears throat> under your document and content management strategy, which is not a, a relational kind of a data, but yes, all the unstructured data, but still a crucial information is managed under this particular uh, area. Not a very prominent area, I must say there is no specific role which I can you know relate to this, but then it generally falls into the bigger picture. So coming to the eighth one, which is master data management, it is a very important area in terms of this overall data management uh, framework because your master data management ensures that you are managing and maintaining the quality of your master data. Now, what is a master data? Master data is, you can say, kind of dimensions or kind of entities which defines all, all of your business processes. So take, for example, uh, your system of records, how the data is coming into the system and with what all entities this particular data is getting connected. That's what master data management is all about. One very good example to explain master data management is your customer data. So suppose uh, for Amazon, uh, customer is a very important, uh, you know, dimension and maintaining customer data uniquely and very, very uh, uh, clearly across the enterprise is very important. Because suppose if the customer data is managed uh, by two different business teams and they are not interrelated, there is no master data to say that this is the same customer which has recently bought something from Amazon and the marketing team is again sending the campaigns to that particular customer without knowing that that customer has already bought that product, then that's a waste of time and resources, right? So in that case, if you have a common master data where you are managing all your customer uh, records, 
then it will help you identify that okay this customer has been targeted and then there is no point of uh, going again for the same product for the same campaign uh, with the customer just an example it's a very big area so let me know in the comment section if you need a specific video on master data management i'll do my studies and i'll try to make some elaborate uh, video on specifically on master data management now coming to my bread and butter because this has been my core in area uh, ever since i entered uh, it industry which is data warehousing and business intelligence and uh, i have made several videos on this so i won't spend too much time on this but again everything uh, related to your reporting your analysis anything related to storing the data in a centralized data warehouse everything related to that becomes a part of your data warehousing and business intelligence but i have now also added data science into it i have not kept it as a separate area although i can but again i have kept it within this because now more or less these are interrelated and now we are also seeing that uh, along with your data warehousing projects you are again having a lot of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, projects coming in from your data science domain uh, some very good roles here are data analyst, uh, BI expert, metadata management, self-explanatory, managing all the data of the data. Take for example, in current uh, scenarios, now when you have data lake environments coming up, okay, and you are pouring all your enterprise data in your data lake from desperate systems. So, so it is very much possible that your data lake could become a data swamp because you might have data redundancy and you might have garbage data poured into your data lake because why because there is no metadata management there is no clear answer to as to why this data has come in at first place and why it is lying here whether we have a very exact very copy of this data lying somewhere else so those kind of things can be you know managed with metadata management it's very important sometimes overlooked because people tend to focus on uh, important aspects of getting the data to the customer but that's where data governance comes into picture as you can see it is connected with every area so data governance is the area which will ensure that you are not taking this for granted or lightly so it's a very important area guys metadata management and last but definitely not the least is data quality name is again very simple and straightforward it manages and ensures that you know how to define good data versus bad data how you ensure that data integrity is in place so whenever your data quality is compromised then there is uh, no matter how good data pipelines you have no matter how good data frameworks you de develop if your data quality is not good then you are not returning the actual value to the business so data quality is something which i think uh, is maintained at every level but then again, if there is a separate area looking into it, and again, uh, with the uh, under the governance, data governance model, then definitely this uh, helps a lot. And that's why in cloud, we have seen that people tend to tag the data with a standard. So based on the data quality, the data freshness and data, uh, you know, correctness, you can define that, okay, this is uh, a very you know gold standard data or it is a very you know very medium or silver standard or bronze standard some kind of standards you can set uh, within your data framework so that as soon as someone sees a data set and a data quality benchmark assigned to it they will exactly know how much i can rely on this data so that is what data quality helps you uh, achieve so yes guys in totality if you are working in any field of uh, data, data engineering, data analysis, uh, whichever field you are in, you must be touching one or multiple areas under overall data management. And uh, I hope uh, after looking into all these areas, you can also think where you, in which particular area you might uh, work on and create your specific niche. So friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button because if you hit that like button, uh, YouTube will share this with multiple people across the globe who might find this content useful and it will al also help me grow the channel. So if you find any value out of it, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So you, you exactly know when I upload my next video, I make content on overall IT industry and I try to make it for IT as well as non IT people. So I try to make it in that manner. So if you are new, 
प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग सो अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम गाइस प्लीज कीप लर्निंग कीप शेयरिंग ऑल योर नॉलेज एंड यस कीप हसलिंग बाय फॉर नाउ